welcome back to my channel again my name is miss bimbo a uk care assistant and a nigerian trained pharmacist and like i promised you in my last video that um i have a first hand information about the recruitment of skilled workers into the uk 15 skilled workers so this is first hand information that i got and with me i've got a guest that's going to tell you more about it but all i can tell you is that this company is in northern ireland and they need 15 skilled workers perhaps because of the five points plan of the home office to increase the minimum um salary threshold to 38,700. Perhaps that is the reason why this company urgently needs this 15 staff before, you know, they will start paying that huge amount. They want to quickly recruit as many as possible. So it's going to tell us what benefits are accrued, what the name of the company is, the steps that you need to take in order to apply. If you're outside the UK, if you're inside the UK, what qualifies you to apply for this role? You're going to hear everything from my guests. So welcome with me once again, Dr. Anchibola. If you have watched the video we both made some few months back about recruiting veterinary doctors, I mean, foreign trained veterinary doctors into the UK, you must have seen his face and I don't think I need to introduce him again. So if you're here to watch that video, I'll leave the link to that video in this particular video for you to go and see it. So if you are a foreign trained veterinary doctor, the good news is that the UK is recruiting veterinary doctors it's not a common news but this is something that we know that we are very very sure of because we've got a lot of people here in the uk who came in through these routes it's under the skilled work skilled worker visa and recently a lot of uh, other companies have actually started recruiting to and one of them is this particular company that needs 15 veterinary doctors, I mean foreign trained veterinary doctors, to come into the UK to start to work. So can you tell us more about it? Okay, thank you. Uh, the company is based in the UK, as you read, and uh, they've been recruiting since, I think, 2019 or 2020, before COVID, shortly before COVID or so. And they recruit from everywhere in the world. But luckily, we have so many Nigerians that are working with them as meat hygiene inspectors. Meat hygiene inspectors. So, uh, what uh, they do is just they recruit them and uh, they take them to slaughter slabs or slaughter houses or processing, uh, processing plants where they check uh, the animals, but mostly poultry animals, or the, at times it could be. Uh, cattle so they check to know maybe those animals are fit for human consumption so that's basically what uh, vets do in those um, places but now they they keep recruiting that's the truth they keep recruiting both from inside uk and outside the uk and uh presently they need 15 veterinary doctors so the role is for the veterinary doctors to come into the uk to practice as veterinary doctors is it yeah uh well the i i won't say they will practice as veterinary doctors because to practice as a veterinary doctor in the uk you need to pass the council exam to pass it as a proper veterinary doctor that is a record a uk recognized i sensed yeah um, veterinary doctor but this you you are recruited from your country as a veterinary doctor though but you are not in the uk register of veterinary doctors but it will give you chance because you you keep mix you know, meeting uh, veterinary doctors that are registered in the uk uh, while working and also it will help you to rub minds with them to know what the council exam involves how to do it so you get more information but you won't be paid the same amount the uk registered doctors will be getting you won't be paid to run, but you're already in the line of get, you know, being licensed if you put your mind to it. So that's just it. That's just it. So about. Like, like some people that watched our previous videos, some people sent me a lot of questions and I'd like you to address some of those questions. Okay. Someone said that he's, a, he's an animal, animal scientist or something and he was asking if he could also apply for that role. So you're coming in as a vet doctor, but you're coming to work as an assistant vet or something. Yeah, assistant vet. Yeah, vet, vet, assistant. vet assistant so yeah. you're not going to be paid the salary of a vet doctor but you're going to be handsomely paid also yes, yes, over yes, thirty thousand yes. pounds yes. per annum so not up to thirty eight thousand seven hundred but close to something no, yes, like that yes. so as animal scientists are they qualified to apply to 
Well, there are some more at times, maybe if they don't see enough veterinary doctors from outside the country or from wherever they choose to pick them from, they give animal scientists the opportunity to. But mostly the animal scientists I've seen working in the company, most of them are actually based in the UK. Yeah, they like not really based in the UK alone, but they are citizens of UK, they are UK citizens. Yeah, so they believe maybe they had um, uh, the, a, a, a broad curriculum in the UK while studying animal science in the, in the UK. So maybe that's why they recruit them. So I've not really met any animal scientists from Nigeria working or from in, outside yeah, the UK or from outside the UK. But it's possible from outside the UK if your country uh, has a partnership with the company, uh, if your country has a partnership with the com company that is um, recruiting, they might employ some animal scientists from so but from Nigeria or from Africa. I've not seen. I've not seen any. So animal basically, scientists. the animal scientists that they recruit are UK trained animal scientists. Yes, yes. It's not common for them to recruit overseas trained animal scientists, yeah. but they are recruiting overseas trained veterinary doctors. Yes. So another question that somebody asked was uh, that he had already applied to one of those companies, E and J yeah. or something, yeah. and he said that they got back to him telling him that they were not currently recruiting or something yeah. that unfortunately they were not recruiting so yeah. does that mean that they have stopped recruiting at a and j does it mean does okay it... yeah they have not stopped recruiting at a and j well to the best of my knowledge they keep recruiting every time in fact if you want to keep yourself abreast of it you can always watch this channel and be um getting information and also a and j has a linkedin page too uh, if you if you are on linkedin you can always once in a while you might be lucky to see uh, when they recruit people because every time they recruit from outside the uk they post the pictures of those people there so you see that they keep recruiting but they tend to recruit from countries that their veterinary uh degree is recognized by the uk like turkey like i don't know maybe poland maybe south africa or so the only country in nigeria maybe south africa or egypt i can't remember so they tend to recruit from countries uh that their veterinary degree is recognized by the uk so but for the mhi position they don't need What's to MHI? okay for the meat hygiene inspector position okay. they tend to recruit from every country they don't want to know maybe your degree your veterinary degree is recognized by the uk they will still recruit you but if your veterinary degree is recognized by the uk they don't recruit you from for, for mhi mhi position recruited for a higher position which is official veterinarian they call it official veterinarian and that one that's when you are paid as a veterinarian so that's that's also different from vets doctor is it no veterinary it's, surgery surgeon it's still it's still the same okay. as an official veterinarian you are you are also seen as a veterinary surgeon okay yeah you are seen as, so as an official veterinarian you can actually practice in the uk that's if your curriculum is recognized by yes. the UK. For you to even be called an official veterinarian, it means your curriculum is recognized. They don't have to write the license. They don't have to write the license exam. So you can simply apply from your own country, like yes. from Poland, from, Poland, from, from South Turkey. Africa, from, from Turkey. Turkey. And from some other bits like Spain and some other countries in the Euro. But and if you're from Africa, other than South Africa, yeah. you can only apply for the role of a meat inspector. Meat hygiene meat, inspector. Meat hygiene inspector. Mm -hmm. And these are solely for overseas trained vet doctors yes only for overseas um, tra uh, trained vet doctors so another question is that some people sent me mails that they're already in the uk mm -hmm. on care visa mm -hmm. and they asked if they can actually apply they are vet uh, overseas trained vet doctors okay but they came in using the care route so okay. they are the primary applicants okay. some they said they are the dependents. Okay. So can you clarify that? Can they also apply when they're already in the UK okay. as carers or as dependents? Okay, yeah. Or Maybe, as students? Yeah, okay, thank you. Let's start from you being the primary applicant uh, as a carer. You can apply. If Everybody can apply. But if you're a student, you should know that you can't apply. If you've not finished your course, you can't apply. That's for even every uh, company or any form of job you want to do full time you can't apply until it does the new rule until you finish with your schooling so now as a carer you can apply because you're under tier 2 visa and you are the primary applicant you can apply but the company most companies they use their discretion 
to give you the job. Some feel like, okay, you are a carer, you are already under the sponsorship. So why do you want to switch into um, the veterinary line? So it's now left for you to convince them because some they will send you a mail that why do you want to switch? So you send them a mail, you can reply them that okay, that's your passion. You actually came in into care because so 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 you find some reasons to give them. So it, it does not stop you from applying. And if you're dependent, if I if you're dependent, you have more chance for than getting the job. Yeah, for, yeah, you have more chance of getting the job than somebody that is the primary applicant. There are lots of people that are dependent that came in maybe under a student or they came in under somebody that is a primary applicant as a carer. They actually got employed by uh, E and J, and they will give you the option: Do you want COS or you just want to be working with them? That's if you're already in the UK. If you're already in the but UK, but if you're outside the UK, definitely. definitely. If you're outside the UK, you definitely you need COS to stay. So if you are already in the UK. They will ask you if you need COS, if you apply for a COS under them, if you want to switch from maybe the care um, visa to COS, that means you will need more money because you are going to pay for IHS. They will pay for your own IHS, the primary applicant, they will pay for your IHS. But for your dependent, if you've got children and wife, you are the one that will pay for their IHS. And, but if you don't want COS, yes, they will still employ you. But if you are under CO, if you get their COS, your pay, Will be more than somebody that did not get their COS. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, if you have their COS, your pay per hour, it's around 14, 14 60, 14 pounds 60 pence. That's for what company? E and J. Mind you, we made a comprehensive video stating some of the companies in the UK that we know that are recruiting for veterinary assistant and me child something yeah. so you can do well to check that video so that this video won't be too long i'll just refer you to that other video so that you can see more information about this topic all right thank you so much so but well, if you are not under their cos if you choose maybe your wife or your your partner is under another cos that you feel you prefer but you just want to be working for a and j they pay you less than 14.60 uh, pounds I think they pay you maybe 12 pounds okay. thereabouts and the advantage of working with them is you get a car for working with them though there are policies that are attached to the car maybe deductions every month but you get to use the car uh, for the job and also well, why you need for the job is also in a way to also help you at least moving from your house to do, to work back home so it's, it helps you instead of waiting for the uh, boss inside the inside the cold you and know what it means to own a car in the yeah. uk to have access to a car mm -hmm. so it's actually something good so that's that's that about um, if you're that answers the, the question that yes. we asked and mind you guys i made a video on how we passed our driving test six months into entering the uk do well to check that video out and in subsequent videos i'm going to be sharing test questions like theory questions the objectives for the driving tests I'm going to be sharing them here. We're going to be practicing together. Mind you, my husband already has a UK driving license and I'm working towards getting my own. So we're going to be practicing these questions together. And if this is something that you would really love to watch, why not just like this video and then smash the subscribe button and turn on notification. So let's talk more about this company that's recruiting 15 skilled workers, 15 veterinary doctors. What is the name of this company? Where are they located? What can people do? How do they apply? Is this um, advert on indeed? Is it on any website? How would they apply? Okay, thank you. The name of the company is E and J. We call it Evil and Jones. That's the name of the company, and they are actually into public health, veterinary public health. So, and I know um, anyone that is a veterinary doctor will understand what I just said now. So, they are, they are into just safeguarding the health of people by checking the meat that people eat, chicken the red meat, the pork, any form of meat that people eat in the UK, they are the ones uh, safeguarding it. Uh, against zoonotic diseases, yeah, diseases that can be transmitted from animals yeah. to human. Yes, against zoonotic like diseases. Like Ebola, yeah, tuberculosis and the likes. So they actually safeguard the health of people and it's huge. It's actually a very huge um, company and also what they do, you, you, you'll be shocked to know that they kill thousands of chicken, if not millions of chicken, almost every day in the UK. And the, the job of this uh, MHI, meat, in, meat Hygiene Inspector, is to make sure that those animals are fit for human consumption. That's that. So, 
Presently, they need 15 people in Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is part of UK. It's UK. different from Republic of Ireland. Sorry, I made that mistake in my previous video. UK is made up of four different um, yeah. countries. England, England Scotland, Scotland, Scotland Northern, Wales, Northern Ireland and, and Wales. Northern Ireland. So I interchanged Northern Ireland for Republic of Ireland in my previous video. Yeah, so they are they are recruiting, you know, they need 15 MHI, meet hygiene inspectors in Northern Ireland. And it's open, so if you are outside Nigeria, you can apply. What you need is number one, you you need all those traveling documents to just be ready. Your passport should be ready. Your IELTS. Your IELTS. Your IELTS. I think the band they need is six point five. Is it that six or six point five? I'm not sure, but it's better for you to ace just it. to ace it once and for all. So just aim that it is six point five overall. Overall, and I think they also request for. I think the request for some medium of expression from your school, maybe in place of IELTS, I think so. So if you can get medium of expression that you were taught in English in your school, in your university, in place of IELTS, I think so. People are saying at times they request for medium of expression in place of IELTS, but it's better you get your IELTS ready. You won't be ready. sanctioned for having IELTS. Yes, it's better you get your IELTS ready so that you your mind will be at rest. I think that's all that you need. And definitely you'll be interviewed if... You, and you need to write your CV. Your CV. You need to tailor your CV towards um, veterinary public health experience. You can't just say you've been doing clinical works, clinical works. The job is not clinical. It's actually public health. And public health is like, it has to do with field work. So that you, you've been, you, you can tell them you worked in the abattoir before, maybe your IT experience your, during your NYC or your one of your internships. So you can tell them that so, so that they, they can know that at least you have the experience. If not, the normal the basic experience they need at least you have the very very experience which is something they need when you come here they will still groom you anyway even if you have worked for 30 years in your country they will still need to groom you and also train you in the way they want you to do it in the uk that's how it works, yeah. yeah that's how it works here yeah. if you are if you have worked 100 years in your country you still need to be trained there so those are the things you need you need to tailor your cv to be very concise and clear uh, about what you've done before and if you are shortlisted, you are going to have an... Where do they send the CV to? Okay, you send the CV to a particular email. Uh, they've got lots of emails. There is, a, there is a recruitment email. And there is also an email that belongs to the recruitment officer. So I'll... I will actually... Um, for you to get access to this email, because we don't want to just put it out there, you can join my membership. Beside the subscribe icon, you will see join. Click on that join membership. Just join any stage of the membership, any level. And then when you've done that, and you've done that, let me know. You can simply send your your send the screenshot to my email address. I'm going to leave my email address on the screen for you. And you know, send me the screenshots that you have joined my membership. Actually, I'm going to know from my hand, and then I'll forward the email addresses more than one that you will send your CV to. We don't want to really put out their email address out there because yeah. this is a civilized country. Yeah, thank you so much. So you send it to their email address and you wait for a response. Even if you don't get a response, you can always remind them, send a form of reminder that you sent your CV so 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 time and you are waiting for a response. They they always play, they will tell you, okay. You are still working on it or they can tell you oh, you are not qualified you can try they can even keep your details they keep people's details against the next form of applic um, application or so recruitment. someone said like the person that sent me the mail that they said they were not recruiting at that time what i told the person was just to keep reminding them yeah just keep reminding because they keep recruiting from time yeah, to they time keep recruiting. It's actually a big so industry. the fact that they did not you they did not employ you now does not mean that you have lost out completely yes, just yes. keep reminding them and mm -hmm. they do for first come first served basis yes, yes, so yes, if yes. you have submitted your cv and they liked it initially when they are recruiting they might consider you before they consider mm -hmm. a new yes, applicant yes. so guys if this is your first time coming across my channel i do talk about anything related to care work in the uk immigration in the uk talking about anything Pharmacy practice in the UK and veterinary practice in the UK. If there's any topic that you would want us to talk about, please do well to let me know in the comment section. Please, my email address is on fire. <laughs> I don't want to send me any email other than the screenshot of, you know, like an evidence that you have joined my membership and asking for the email address you have to send your CV to. Please, if you have any comment, any question, just drop it in the comment section. Don't send me any personal email.
thank you guys who was like this video share this video out and turn on your notification because we, as, as, as soon as we get more updates anything new i'm going to share with you here definitely thank you guys so much and we hope to see you in my next video